In step four, the setup guide, you must add the seven hidden fields to your web form. And these are the custom fields that we created from step two. Uh, so there are instructions if you click this button for the campaign builder, or if you're using the legacy drag and drop forms, there's instructions for that. But to show you real quick what I mean by adding the hidden fields to your web form, here's a form inside the campaign builder. So if I open this form, what I have are the seven tracking fields that we have you create in step two added to the web form. This must be done, otherwise the data will not be stored inside Infusionsoft. So to do this, and I will just remove GA source, you will go to field snippets, drag the hidden field over, and just select the fields that you need and just repeat this for GA source, medium, term, campaign, content, refer URL, and IP address. Once that's ready to go, just save your web form. Um, if this form is already published to your website, you do not have to take the hidden fields from the HTML code. So for instance, if you are embedding the form on your website, you do not need to include the hidden fields in your form. So if you have this form embedded on your website, that's perfectly okay. Um, you do not have to include the hidden fields because iTracker will add these fields for you. So if you remove those, that, that is perfectly okay. Or if you have forms already on your website that you've been using for a while and now you're wanting to set up iTracker, and you don't want to have to log in and update any forms on your website, you don't have to do that. You just have to add the hidden fields into your form inside Infusionsoft. So this is for the campaign builder. If you're using the drag and drop web form builder, uh, you would be familiar with this. You would do the same thing. You would edit the web form and then go to field snippets and drag the hidden fields just like you would do in the campaign builder. If you're using the classic web forms, uh, this is not required, but it's recommended. You can just click Add Fields and then just choose all the, the tracking fields that we give you and make sure that you mark them as non-required. So just like I have these added here, you can do that for the classic web form. So that's all you have to do for Step 4 of the Setup Guide is just to add the hidden fields to your web form inside Infusionsoft. Thanks.